Do I know you? Let me try to jog your memory. Mm. Mm. I like your idea of a sightseeing tour. I run this tour four times a day. Good morning, Dr. Nick. <clears throat> morning, Yolanda. Oh, okay. Um, bye, sweet. You have a good day, okay? You too, Daddy. Bye-bye, Dr. -bye, bye, guys. Oh, morning, Mrs. Morning, Yolanda. Boy, I'm running late. When is Dr. Jared already left for work? <laughs> Daddy had an emergency at the hospital. You look awfully pretty today. No, I don't. I hate what I'm wearing. Well, what's wrong with it? I hate this skirt. It's too big. <gasps> well, come here, sweetie. What do you think about this? It's really cool. <gasps> <laughs> hey, you're squishing me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on, Emily. You're gonna be late if we don't leave right now. Okay, okay. I decided I want to have a pinata for my birthday party. A zebra pinata. Oh, zebra pinatas are very rare. Peter had one? Well, if Peter had one, then you should have one too. Have a nice day, honey. You too. Okay. Come on.
Holly, it's been a week. I was starting to worry. Nah, I'm okay. My gallbladder was giving me trouble. Oh. How'd the little one like the locket? Oh, I, I'm saving it for her birthday. She would love that. How much? Um, five bucks. Ah. Hmm. There you go. You take care. You here? Wait a minute, you change. For you. Suzanne wants to see you. Thank you. Hey, Suzanne, you wanted to see me? Hi. Uh, any news on the Magnolia Ranch house? I'm showing it again at three. Oh, great. I am under all kinds of pressure to get that place sold. I've had that listing for nearly three months. Well, I'm working on it. I've got a good feeling about this client. I think it's right up her alley. You're a lifesaver. Pleasure. Stay away from me. And you know why? You want to know why? Because we're fabulous together. I got a little surprise for you this afternoon. Not today. I can't get away today. Sure you can. No, Sam. Things are not good at home, and this makes it more complicated. Well, it didn't feel complicated last night. It's never complicated when we're together. I can't think straight when we're together. It's, it's after I leave you that it gets difficult. I don't like myself right now. I don't like what I'm doing to Nick. I'm no threat to your husband or your family. I've been completely out front on that. You're the one that's making it a problem. Because it is a problem for me. OK, I don't mean to make light of it. I know it bothers you. But you know, this thing with us, I mean, this will burn out soon enough. So what do you say we just enjoy it while it lasts? You sure know how to sweep a girl off her feet. Place. Pretty great, isn't it? The minute I walked in here, I felt like I was home. I think I'm in some real trouble here. I still haven't told Harry that I want to move. <laughs> oh. Don't worry. I can be very persuasive when I want something. Good. Oh. I love the wood floors. Great bathroom. I love it. Mm -hmm. The bathtub is fabulous. Yeah. Let me show you the closet. Okay. And feel free to just wander around. Stainless kitchen. Love it. So what do you say, Nina? I think Harry's in for a good time. Good news for Harry.
Speak English, I say your little person. It's not the straw man, right? I'm not interested. Boy, I pick three losers in a row and you get flowers and sexy underwear from a guy in the same day. Look, maybe I'm way off base here and feel free to stop me if this isn't my business. I know what can happen when these things get out of control. I've been there and it didn't end well. What happened? Jim was a master seducer and I was vulnerable. It's a deadly combination. How did you end it? Ella Browning, shrink extraordinaire. Well, you, you seem to have survived. Only after I lost everything. Suzanne's. What can I do to help you? Um, well, I'm married. I have a young daughter. My husband, Nick, is everything I could ever dream. Yet, I can't stay away from this guy. Sam. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I, I don't understand why I'm doing any of this. All right. All right. Let's start with what this guy, Sam, has to offer that you're not getting at home. Oh, well, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, everything about Sam is intense, uh, passionate, from, from someplace almost primal. He makes me feel alive. Is this affair only about sex? Don't underestimate that. Sex can be a very powerful draw. Well, if it was just about sex, this would be easy. Maybe you're afraid you're going to have to choose between Sam and Nick. No. No, Sam's not the marrying kind. <clears throat> he loves me. I know he loves me. But uh, Sam is never with just one woman for long. That's pretty definite. Well, he says he's never seen a good marriage, including his parents. He, he doesn't think it works. That kind of challenge can be a real allure for a woman. Are you sure you're not harboring the fantasy that you can change all that? No, absolutely not. You sure about that? I'm positive. I love my family. I love my husband. They mean everything to me. Yet you risk losing them. Yeah, that's what terrifies me. And that's why I'm here. Suzanne said that you helped her, and I know I need help. I know this is crazy, but I can't stop what I'm doing.
I didn't expect to see you tonight. How'd you get away? Does it matter? you want to tell me i'm badly oh i don't know baby i bet we have a spectacular end That is exactly what we're looking for. I want my wife to see it. Anytime. Okay, well, I'll get her schedule and I'll call you later. Great. All right, thanks. has been calling here asking questions about you. What kind of questions? Just whether I knew you, if you work here. Um, of course he wouldn't leave me his name. What'd you tell him? Nothing. I, I wouldn't discuss you with a stranger. Thank you. You're welcome. What's wrong? What's happened? It's Nick. He's having an affair. I saw him with her. They were kissing in the street. It wasn't a friendly kiss. So it's okay for you, but not for him. Well, I know what Sam's about, but this thing with Nick... Oh my... God, what if he's in love with her? What if he leaves me? What's wrong with me? You want to save your marriage, don't you, Laura? Yes. But if you do, you're going to have to be completely honest with yourself. <sighs> Did you perhaps sense Nick pulling away from you? Is that what drove you to get involved with Sam? No, Nick wasn't pulling away. He was loving. He's been perfect. The things are as good as they've ever been. 
Do you think that Nick knows about Sam? You know, I've had the feeling lately that I'm being followed. And, and Suzanne said that someone's been asking questions about me. What did you do about it? What do you suggest I do? Call the police? And tell them what? I'm having an affair and my husband's having me followed? Laura? What did you think was going to happen when you started this? I mean, what did you want to happen? Not this. You know, you can justify this any way you like, Laura. But the fact is, you've been having an affair. And things in your life are going to start to unravel unless you deal with that messy reality. And the why of it. Certainly not, but I can be had for the right price. Meet me at Le Bistro, half an hour. I'll wear my usual disguise. He loved her. Among many. You're the only one right now. Listen, Sam. Um, I can't do this anymore. My life is falling apart. And you think not seeing me is going to make that easier? It's not too late already. Is that why you wanted to meet me here where I couldn't make a scene? Now you still turn me on. It's not going to be easy letting go of this. Come in here. You know, I may not be the best guy in the world, but I wouldn't have gone about blowing somebody off like this. Sam, please understand. I do understand. I just don't like the way you went about doing it. Take care of yourself. Can I help you with Excuse something? Excuse me. her all right it's none of my business but um who is she to you she ruined my life
Great. As the chair of the PTA, I'd just like to quickly remind all of you that the school art fair and auction is in two weeks. The planning meeting will be here tomorrow in the auditorium at 3 p.m. We could really use the help. Thanks for coming. She's a parent at the school. I saw the way she looked at Nick. Is it possible that you're imagining all this? No, it's not possible. I know what I saw. Are you going to confront him? I can't. What if he... <laughs> what if he says he loves her? What if he says he's, he's leaving me? Okay, okay, now let's go with this. Ask all those questions you're afraid of. Come on, Laura. How often have you seen her, Nick? Is she everything I'm not? Are you bored with me? What is the point of this? Come on. I don't want to do this. Say the words. Let's get to the root of it. Tell him. Why is he doing this to me? No, no, not me. Ask him. No, I, I don't want to hear the answers. He's, he's treating me like I mean nothing to him. Like I'm worthless. That must feel terrible. I'm used to it. Why? Who else has treated you this way, Laura? Who else? Other men? Come on, Laura, look at me. Who has treated you this way? Let's get to the root of it. Come on. My father. Okay? You know, we lived in the same building and we're biologically connected, but that's, that's about all he ever was to me. Tell me about him. <sighs> he was a bum. Always broke. Always another get-rich-quick scheme. The only thing he ever bought me was a letter opener from Atlantic City with a little <sighs> diving horse on top. A letter opener for my 10th birthday. Ugh. He probably had it lying around in his car. You must have felt so very empty. Um, I didn't need him. I had to care of myself. How did you do that? I did what I had to do. Whatever I had to do. Meaning? Meaning exactly that. I needed things, I got them. Clothes, I got them. I wore this, this fabulous dress to my prom, this red satin. <laughs> I bought it myself. Where did you get the money? You don't want to talk about where the money came from? I've been wanting to call. Uh, Julia Lancaster, you showed my husband and I a house on Mercer Island a few weeks ago. Oh, yes, right. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm running late. Okay, quick question. Is it still available by any chance? Let me check and call me tomorrow, okay? okay.
Well, if he calls again, tell him you don't know where I am. says she has several appointments today. She might not be able to make it in at all. I'll wait. Maybe you'd like to leave your name and number? I said I'll wait. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so far we have a bid of $10 for this priceless piece by Peter from Mrs. Krager's fourth grade class. So, do I hear 11? 11. We have 11, do I hear 12? $12, ladies and gentlemen. No? Oh, this is a tough crowd tonight. Going once, going twice. Sold for $11 to the woman in the purple blouse. All right, for our next item, we have this beautiful vase from an upcoming artist in the second grade, and I'll tell you I should know this because it's my daughter, Emily. Now, I'll tell you what. For this item only, I am going to start the bidding myself at $5. So, do I hear six? Six dollars. Six dollars. Do I hear seven? Seven. I'll bid seven. Seven, thank you. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight dollars. Eight. Eight dollars! We have a bidding war, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe it? Eight dollars. Do I hear nine? Fifty dollars. I know a brilliant artist when I see one. And I love a woman with great taste. <clears throat> Sold for fifty dollars.
All of them. They're ganging up on me. That woman was with us in the park that day, and now at the art fair? They're choosing her over me. You think your daughter is choosing her? She doesn't even know her, does she? Laura, I can only imagine how you felt as a child when your parents weren't looking after you. That was the least of it. I was paying for their rent. I was 13 years old and I was buying the food that they ate. How? I had an arrangement with my best friend's father. And your parents knew? <laughs> they were taken care of. They didn't ask any questions. They had to know where the money was coming from. They did nothing to stop me. That's hard to believe, Laura. Believe it. Does Nick know about this? No. Oh. No, he would never have married me. That kind of past wouldn't play for Nick. I think that's why Sam appeals to me. I'm meant to be with men like Sam. Men who only want sex. But you told me that, that Sam loves you, right? Now, Laura, do you honestly believe he loves you? I do. But I'm not sure if Nick still loves me. I won't let this ruin my life again. You don't think it's too late, do you? No, Laura. It's not too late. Inhale. And exhale. Cycle through again. Don't forget to keep your head, your spine, your ankles all aligned in one straight plane. Great. Now we're gonna go into Trikonasana Triangle Pose. I want you to pivot your left foot in 60 degrees, your right foot out 90. Make sure you keep your hips forward and reach and down. Remember to drop your shoulders. Keep your head turned up to your left hand. go through your day, remember the energy you've created here and use it to make it a productive one. Namaste. Namaste. A reminder, the studio's being painted tomorrow, so take everything from your locker. Thanks, guys. No, not at all. I was Do I know you? We haven't been introduced. I saw you at the school. Probably. Mm. Too many yoga straps. Darn it. What grade is your child in? Third. Mine too. I don't know how I got roped into this. <laughs> Let's just call it a fashion statement. It's a long way to come for a yoga class. I came looking for you. Me? Yeah. Why? To tell you to stay away from my husband. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me. I don't know you or your husband. I'm not stupid. No, but you're crazy. I saw you with him.
things are getting better. All that worrying for nothing. Oh, what about the other woman? Gone. It's over. Are you sure? Positive. You must be very relieved. I'm grateful. Very, very grateful. And Sam? Done. I don't need him anymore. My life with Nick is, is working now. That easy, huh? That easy. What if he calls you again? Tries to get you back? He already has called. <sighs> he told me how much he misses me. Oh, so romantic. Wanted to take me back to the club. Like the night we met. When he brought me up to the stage and sang to me. Oh. I don't remember you telling me that. You, no, you, t you told me you met him at the bar. After his set, you sent him a drink. Uh, no, we, we had drinks. Of course we did, but that was later. That was after he sang to me. That sounds lovely. Mm. I doubt that is something I would forget. That first night, from the first instant, you were like a shooting star. But now it's time to get back to real life. It's good you see things so clearly. I always know when it's time to walk away. How do you know that? Well, um, guys have always had this thing for me. It's been like that all my life. Then they get, uh, they get a little too crazy. They become obsessive. And when I can't make them understand the reality of what we really are, I have to go. That must be very difficult. It is. It's, it's so frightening. I have to disappear so they can't find me. It's happened more than once. But that's not what's happening now. Now my life is perfect. Listen, um, I appreciate everything you've done. But I won't be coming back. No, now that my life is straightening out, I don't see the point. Laura, it's... It's never this simple. I'm sorry. Uh, in my case, it is. No, no, I, I don't think so. There, there are things that you've told me that have me very concerned. The way you deal with your relationships. Y your recollections differ from one session to the next. No, no, I maybe carried on. I, I exaggerate a little. But I'm fine. I'm really fine. Laura, I I'm not comfortable it's with... It's okay. I am. Well, at least keep in touch so I'll know how you're doing. That won't be necessary. something special for the holiday. You know, it's been a rough year for everybody. How can you beat turkey? Well, turkey's pretty ordinary. I was thinking more like duck. What do you think about duck? For 16? For 12. We're well, gonna wanna get them small. The more tender that way. And figure on half a pound per person. So two, three pounders ought to do it. That sounds good. It'll look fabulous on my table. And don't even bother about making sauce. We've got orange, sour cherry, they're all homemade, out of this world. It's gonna be perfect. 
perfect family gym. Laura, there's a gentleman here to see you. Thank you. Hi, Detective McAuliffe, Seattle PD. Oh. Do you know this woman? I think I took a yoga class with her. When was that? A few days ago. Um, Wednesday, I think. She died on Wednesday. She died? And we found her at the yoga studio, in the elevator. She was, uh, she was hanged. Oh my god. We're just talking to everyone who signed in for that last class. Well, I don't know what I can tell you. Um, it was a regular class, nothing out of the ordinary. Well, could you tell me who was at the studio when you left? I, I didn't really pay attention. I, I changed my clothes and I left. Giselle Sandler said that someone who fits your description was one of the last people there. It's possible, I guess. Well, do you, uh, do you remember if the victim was still there? I, you know, I saw her packing up. Was she alone? I don't know. Look, I, I had a lot on my mind, and um, I'm, I'm actually embarrassed to tell you what I was really thinking when you're asking me about something so horrific. Well, please, indulge me. Well, the truth is, the holidays are coming up, and um, I was thinking about how many people were coming to dinner, what I would be cooking. I, and I just didn't pay any attention to who was still in the gym. You could be reached at this number? Anytime. All right, well, thank you for your time. Thank you. What do you think? This is perfect. How short an escrow will it take? I start a new job on the 15th. I want to get in, get settled by the first of next month. Well, that's pretty fast, but I'll see what I can do. Do it, and you got to sell. You have my numbers. Get back to me by tomorrow, or I'll move on to my second option. I'm sure I can make it work. Smart lady. <laughs> Suzanne, I'm at the beach house. Will the sellers take a 15-day escrow? The loan's not a problem. It's an all-cash sale. Terrific. I'll make it happen. We're going to end this year strong. You'll see. Bye. All right, so I pulled together a couple of the flyers like you've asked. Let's take a look, see what's good. I want it to be a complete surprise. I want to whisk him away for the weekend, something completely indulgent. Okay, so we've got a couple packages to Paris, maybe Venice. Paris, I like that idea. Croissants on the left bank in the morning, ice cream on Ile Saint Louis. Emily would like that. Maybe I should bring Emily. No, 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 we, we need to be alone for this. Okay, can you put together a package for Paris? A romantic week for two. This is just what we need right now. Absolutely. I will have a couple options drawn up for you tomorrow. Thank you, Linda. I am going to sweep Nick off his feet. Patient presented as an ordinary uptown woman with a boring marriage and an exciting affair. But lately, her behavior is becoming more and more inappropriate. While she does not present as a traditional depressive, more often than not, her affect is flat and dispassionate. Yet her descriptions of Sam, subject of affair, are embellished and idealized. Her descriptions of their first meeting change with each telling. I'm becoming very concerned that this whole relationship exists only in her mind. Laura! Charlie Williker. We're gonna talk. No, I gotta get to a meeting. No, no, now. No more ducking me. My life has been a train wreck since you passed through it. Oh, I thought you'd been doing well. I, I, I see you're doing stories on the network news now. See? I still follow your career, even though we stopped seeing each other. We didn't see each other, Laura. Well, let's not get into that argument again. My wife believed that crap about us having an affair. Maybe because it was true. We didn't. 
Laura? It was all in that head of yours. There might have been two people in your fantasy, but there was only one of us involved here on planet Earth. I don't know why you feel you need to deny what we had. You are gonna fix what you destroyed. You're gonna convince Alex that there was nothing between us. You are hurting me. I have nothing more to lose. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were so hurt. Come with me to see her, to tell her the truth. Yeah, I will. You know what? I just have to get to a meeting and I can't be late. I'll wait. No, it'll be hours. I'll meet you there. I don't trust you. Well, you're gonna have to if you want me to go along with this. All right, I'll meet you back here at five. Don't mess with me, Laura. I know where to find you now. Hello? You wouldn't have gotten that taxi anyways. The lady with the plaid pants would have wrestled you to the ground for it. Sam? Where are you? I don't have to be there to know where you are and what you do. Okay. Now you're scaring me. You know you can't keep secrets from me. What is it you think you know? I know you miss me. <laughs> Wrong. I know you miss what we had. Wrong again. You got the best legs in town. I'm digging the trench. Okay, where are you? Right here. Right in front of you. Right where I always am. What do you think you're doing? Kidnapping you. I don't have time to be kidnapped. One hour. I want to take you somewhere. I want to show you that I wasn't a complete bastard. One hour. Where to? Pioneer Square, King Street. has a little self-control. <laughs> so, how are things at home? You just all right. That sounds promising. Tell me you miss me a little. I miss you a little. <laughs> what else did mom want to say? My God, what's next? Get me out of here. Get two of these. This is Laura. Laura, hello. It's Ella Browning. I know you said you were done with this, but I honestly don't think that you should just walk away. I think you need to come back and see me. I'm fine. I have an opening today at 4 o'clock. Thanks, but I don't need it. You can't just barge in here. Laura! You can't just barge in here. Laura, where are you? I'm true playing game. Where is she? Laura, Laura, I won't fill the appointment. Please do try to come. I gotta go. Laura! Are, are you looking for me, Charlie? 
No, I want to buy a condo. Uh, thanks, Kathy. Let's not do this here. We do this here or we do it in front of Alex, but we do it now. I'm not letting you out of my sight again. You were supposed to meet me two days ago. You didn't show up. You obviously didn't come to work yesterday because I was here. I waited all day. So I am through taking you at your so-called word. Let's go. I expect you to tell her the truth. I'll tell her what you want me to tell her. I want you to tell her the truth. No, 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 no please, please. It's five minutes. That's all I want. What is she doing here? Please, just listen to what she has to say. I don't want to hear anything that she has start, to say. Start talking. It's, it's not what you think about Charlie and me. Um, we met at work and we had lunch a few times. You had lunch? I thought you said she was a total no, stranger. No, we didn't have lunch. We, we met in the coffee shop downstairs at the counter. Making small talk at a lunch counter doesn't qualify as having lunch. You can't even get your story straight. No, I swear to you that is all that happened. We chatted a couple of times. The next thing I know, she's blowing our lives apart. Tell me the truth, damn it. Uh, Charlie and I didn't have an affair. I wanted to, but he wouldn't. What about all the phone calls, the letters, the flowers that kept showing up? She did it all, unprovoked. This whole thing is in her head. Is that true? Yes. You didn't know him? So you made the whole thing up? You blew our lives apart? Because of some crazy fantasy? What kind of sick twist are you? I cared about Charlie. I am here now because I...
they cared about Charlie. Which is more than I can say for you. You didn't care enough to fight. You just ran out first chance you got. I did it. I said what you wanted me to say, and frankly, I don't think she's worth it. Now leave me alone. Yoga, right? That's where I know you from? I manage the yoga studio. You were in that class when the teacher was killed? Oh, God, right. Um, yeah, what a freak accident. I'm not sure the police think so. They've been all over my studio checking for prints, other clues. They're suspicious of something. Hey, um, weren't you the woman I saw there when I left? I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I thought it was you. Did you see anyone else there? Like I told the police, I, I really didn't notice. Look, I'm sorry to rush off like this, but I'm, I'm really late. I'm glad you decided to come after all, Laura. Well, I'm not sure why I'm here, but lately I've been feeling bombarded by things. Um, I thought maybe talking with you... Well, I'm very glad you could make it. I think it's important that we talk some more. What do you want to talk about? About your relationships. Especially the one with Sam. I'm concerned that your life isn't on a strong enough footing to keep you from drifting back to him. Well, the truth is, I, I have seen him. He, uh, he brought me to see a sculpture he made of me, of my body. It was in a gallery near the art museum. I see. Sometimes our view of relationships is not completely realistic. We become so emotionally needy, we create fantasies, connections. And we believe they're real. What's not real? You think I'm not real? You, you think Sam's not real? Well, I, I know that you're real. And I believe Sam is real, but I... I wonder if your love affair with him is real. That's crazy. You think I'm imagining my relationship with Sam? Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm asking. Often when things aren't going well in our primary relationships, we create an escape, a connection that gives us what we need. For instance, you want to go to Rome, but you can't get there, so you paint a picture of it on your wall. A mural. A scene. Trompe l'oeil. What? Trompe l'oeil. That's what it's called. It's a trick. The eye. Well, you understand that, don't you? You did it when you were young. I did not imagine that man when I was young. Believe me, he was very real. Yes, yes, I know, I know, but... What you were doing was antithetical to your soul. So you created fantasies around it to make it more palatable. It's not unusual to recreate fantasies throughout your life because of it. Like Sam. Let me help you get through this. Let me help you understand this. Let go of it. What you have with Nick. That's real. And good. And worth fighting for. I don't need help. I'm fine. Laura, please. You don't need to be concerned. I have everything under control. I don't believe that, Laura. Please, don't walk out that Believe what you want. I'm going.
not sleeping with her. I didn't say you were. Not in so many words. I asked who she was. That's a perfectly reasonable question. It was how you asked. You know, you showed me the sculpture, and I thought I meant something special to you. But I'm not a picture for a few weeks, and true to form, you've moved on to someone else. Look, this is not what you think it is. Our, our singer dropped out. I called Valerie to fill in because I knew how good she is. Mm, I can only imagine. I didn't come for this. You go home to your husband. Wait, don't walk away from me. Hey, hey. Don't walk away from Take me. it easy. Stop. What is wrong with you? They're trying Take to it easy. Hey. Mm. What are we doing? This. Nina Panker just called. She wants you to meet her at the Magnolia Ranch house right away. She says she's got her husband right where she wants him. Let's hope so. Well, I like this place a lot. I just don't like being played. Come on, Harry. Whenever I push you into anything, you always end up thanking me. Like I said, I don't like being played. <laughs> You've been saying that you're tired of apartment living and you work so hard and this place is perfect to come home to. How'd it go? Nina's still working on him. I think she'll get what she wants. Hey, so your client went back to the Magnolia Ranch house today. Not only that, but I think your guy's gonna make an offer on the Mercer Island house. We're on a roll. You're amazing. Get them both in escrow and we've got some big time celebrating to do. I am all over it. Hi, Sam. Are you still the hottest property in the office? You say that to all the brokers. Only the ones I have to cancel on. I'm sorry, babe. I can't do it tonight. That's okay. I... I... If you hadn't canceled, I, I would have canceled myself. Um... I really want to make my marriage work, Sam. Well, if that's what you want, then... That's what I want for you. Thanks. I know you mean that. Gotta go. Must have dialed the wrong number, sorry. Hello? Hello, um... Are you looking for Sam? Yes, who's this? Valerie, who's this? A friend. Where's Sam? Um, he's in the shower. Can I give him a message? I wanted to see you one last time, so I could keep this image in my mind in case I ever weaken. What are you talking about? It should never surprise me to catch you in a lie, but somehow it always does. Where is she? Where's who? Valerie. I called you back. I didn't want to be cruel. I wanted you to know how difficult it was for me to let you go. I opened my heart to you. You did it again. Strawberries and chocolate? What's that about? You're a liar. I trusted you. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Valerie means nothing to me. She's crashing here. Okay? I swear to you. Just relax, sit down, and get you a glass of wine. I'm saving this for when I fix you dinner next, but clearly now's a better time.
Where are you going? Go to hell.
idea what that horn costs? Forget that it meant something to me. And just for the record, not that it's any of your business, I'm not sleeping with Valerie. Oh, stop it already. I'm not a fool. And neither am I. She's got a boyfriend back home that weighs in at about 280. She's staying with me until her place is ready. What, what is this place? Who lives here? This is you? Get the hell out. This is your place. Get out of here. Hey! You live here alone? There's no husband, is there? No child, either. You're out of your mind, aren't you, Laura? Get out of my life. Leave me, I'm going. Who's this doctor? Is he real and does he exist? Of course he's real. Somebody better warn the poor bastard. I know everything I need to know. You're insane. No, please don't. Please get help, don't Laura. You need family. professional help. No, don't. Let me get you to a doctor, please. No, please. I know you want to destroy my family. Please don't. This is out of hand. You need help. You're going to hurt somebody. I don't want to hurt anybody. No. I just don't want you to upset Nick. look amazing in this corner. Oh, it's the perfect place for it. Harry just loves this room, you know. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad to see you got him to come around. I always do, once I convince him it's his idea. <laughs> I'm going to cook up a storm in this kitchen. Oh, this is a wonderful place for family dinners. You're right, it will be perfect. Why are they selling? They are no longer together. You're kidding. Everything seems so perfect. I'm sure it was at one time. Some things aren't meant to last forever. Well, we want to buy it. <laughs> I did it. I got an offer on the Magnolia Ranch House. A good one. Close to asking. Oh my gosh, you are amazing. Well, your clients want me to present the offer tonight. Tonight? Mm -hmm. Oh, that won't work. I need to leave for Bainbridge Island in an hour. Oh, hell. You made it happen. You can handle it alone. Why don't you make the offer, and I'll discuss it with them after, and we'll fax the counters in the morning. Sounds great. He usually gets home around six to have dinner with his kid. Well done. Thank you. Hello? Laura, it's Ella Browning. Hello? I'm glad I finally reached you. You haven't been returning my calls. Oh, I've been busy. Laura, I read about Sam in the paper. That was your Sam, wasn't it? It said he was a musician. He worked at the jazz club on 65th. Sad, isn't it? They say he was mugged in the street. You must be devastated. I am. Laura, have you talked to the police? Why would I? I thought 
thought you might have something to tell them. Why could I tell them? I wasn't there. Does it not bother you, Laura, that the man you say you were involved with was murdered in the street? I don't say anything. That's your fantasy. Sam was very real. And frankly, I'm starting to feel harassed. I'm just concerned about you, Laura, that's all. That's why I'm calling. No, it's not. You want to involve me in Sam's death somehow. Well, I'm not going there. It was a random street crime. That's what the papers say, and I believe them. Well, I don't. What's that supposed to mean? It means I think you need help, Laura. It means I don't believe any of this happened the way you say it did. I think you need to come and see me. You know, I think I do too. Yolanda. Dr. Jarrett's. Laura Phillips. Oh, hi. We haven't formally met, but I've seen you showing the house, of course. Hello, Emily. It's good to see you again. Um, listen, I brought something for you. You like charm bracelets, don't you? Oh, you bet. We collect them. Well, I like this little bear the best. Me too. Put your hand up. There you go. <laughs> wow. Now let me show you what I brought for you. You'll need to discuss this offer with Suzanne and then respond by 7 tomorrow night. this work. My clients will be very pleased. <sighs> My wife and I, we were, we were happy here. I heard about what happened. You have my deepest condolences. Thank you. We had um, planned on moving downtown to shorten my commute so I could spend more time with family. Well, I guess that's more important now than ever, isn't it? 